Our friend Bridget had this wheel in her yard for many years. When I offered to buy it for my steam engine project, she gave it to me, on condition that I don't break it and I put it back to work. Thanks, Bridget. It comes from a furze cutter, which were common here in Ireland for decades. They were also called chaff cutters, but I don't know why, because you couldn't actually cut chaff with them. They cut furs or gorse into small pieces for animal food. Gorse is good eating, but very prickly, and it has gone out of fashion as animal food here for at least 50 years, and we don't know anyone who uses one of these machines anymore. But I just need it as a flywheel for my steam engine, a particularly lovely one. Lee helped me get a new bearing on one side of the shaft. Lots of careful grinding involved, because the shaft was a touch too fat. But the other side was too thin, so I packed it with some shims. The rest of the mechanism and the original cast iron stand has long since disappeared. And I wanted to make a stand that would sort of match. Luckily I had some rusty metal lying around, so that was a good start. I cut out a pair of gusset plates and made a simple frame with flared legs. The top had to be level though, so it did take a bit of careful cutting. Now, there's a long way to go before this is part of any kind of an engine. But as soon as I put the wheel on the bearings and gave it a spin, I was just so entranced by the shape and the movement that I thought you might like to see it too, just as it is without any extras. It would be a shame to paint it, I think, so I just oiled it with diesel. A hundred and thirty years ago, someone took the trouble to design something so elegant and someone else with huge skill made a pattern for it out of pieces of wood and then others cast it from white hot molten iron and now, all these years later, it's in my workshop quietly spinning round and round. Ah, oh, that such little things can make us happy. I hope you like it too.